Time with loved ones taken too soon. Questions remain of what could have been. This tram crash in Croydon in 2016 left seven dead and family members with nothing but memories and pain. Today, they shared those moments and paid tribute to the lives lost ahead of a three-month inquest into the deaths. A handsome lad with an infectious laugh. That's how Dane Chinnery's mother described the Crystal Palace and classic Cars fan. She said, I wonder what he would look like and if he would have changed much. Philip Seary's widow Anne admitted she doesn't think she'll ever come to terms with how he was taken, calling him kind, extremely hard-working and much loved. Dorota Rinkowicz's daughters were just seven and five when she was killed. Her husband Andre says not a day goes by when the girls and I don't miss her terribly. A great husband and kind man. After 32 years of marriage, Philip Logan's wife Marilyn said she's still in a way in denial about her loss, which she says affected all of her family. Sleep on a problem and it will be better in the morning. That's what Donald Collette advised his girls, but his daughter Tracy Angelo said since November, things have not looked better in the morning without her dad's smiling face. Father to an 18-month-old and engaged to be married when his life was taken. Mark Smith was described by his mother Jean as a good talker, warm person with a ready smile. Hard-working, football fanatic, father of two. Robert Huxley's son Ross described him as a very generous man, not just with material things, but with the most precious gift of his time. The driver of the tram when it came off the tracks at a sharp bend at almost four times the speed limit was never charged over the deaths and won't be giving evidence at the inquest. While the hearing is expected to run until August, today provided a moment of reflection for those left behind. Anila Dami, 5 News.